yeah, it should be interesting. Um, I don't think so. Ready? I feel like I'm just watching, which is horrible, but like, a lot is going on right now. Um, good up smash by uh, Sauce. Again, rocking the spoopy tag. Um, totally like brain dead today. Yeah, so... Uh, I don't generally like Marth and Doubles. I feel like he's kind of like a volatile character and can sort of hit everybody with like a lot of his like large, disjointed hitboxes. Yeah. But when I see people make him work, like it's always pretty awesome. So, and I know like a lot of people feel differently that they actually really enjoy Martha Doubles. So, interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, Fox is like still to me the best doubles character, and we're kind of seeing that he just like has a lot of options, can kill. You know, all the same reasons he's great in singles is the reason he's great in doubles. Um, nice. Good punish by uh, Curtis over there. Now we'll notice that. Uh, Fox Mario is not a good doubles combination, so Kason has switched to uh, Sheik. But, ooh, bad grab there. I like that um, Sean is just kind of zoning out with the fairs to sort of create a wall that they can't get back in. It's just giving a uh, blue team really good stage control. Uh, missed the punish there. This is kind of fairly even. Um, what matters now is if they can kind of pull head. Oh, good, good needles, really good needles. Still not enough, though. So, uh, Hamilton is kind of known to some degree for its like pretty strong double scene, and Sauce in particular, uh, Sauce and uh, Kason are like quite a doubles focused team. They really like doubles. They practice doubles a lot. They like theory craft about doubles. Yeah, um, great synergy between these two. Yeah, they like they they. Whenever I play them, they are so good at saving each other, and I think that's something that'll also come into play. Is that you'll just see like they're so mindful the of where their teammate is. Um, they actually, uh, Coffee Black and Sauce beat Mango in doubles. I'm not sure who his teammate was at Big House uh, 5. So again, like, you know, clearly someone who knows their way around the doubles kind of meta and just knows, like, what they should be doing. Oh, can I get... Oh, that was... That was something. Um, just like that, it's a close game again. Yeah. Again, this is one of those positions where you would you rather be blue team or would you rather be red team? Because blue team has more stocks, but like then that happens, you know, oh, yep. and then you're kind of <laughs> like, oh my god, I'd rather be red team. Yeah, see, like it's kind of on paper it like looks or not like you know in the game it looks interesting, and then you're like, oh no, um, really good movement by uh, I'm forgetting like two nine 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 seven <laughs> nine like, uh, but yeah, really good movement. Oh, that was just. But you know, that synergy, that doubles experience is going to prevent them from making a lot of mistakes um, that maybe other more inexperienced teams. Oh, okay. That was almost a commentator's curse, but they were really reaching there. Like, that seemed a bit unsafe. Um, so in terms of counter picks, not nearly as knowledgeable as what you would go for for uh, a doubles counter pick. I mean, you got, what was it, Fox and Sheik versus, I feel like, I don't know. Pokemon, maybe? Yeah, I'm thinking Stadium as well. Martha's pretty floaty, and like she can combo him pretty well and kill him off the top, and then Fox loves Stadium. And I, I actually like Stadium and Doubles. you got a decent amount of room, and it's fun to kind of play around with stuff. So, okay, Battlefield, that's a good choice. Oh, oh yep, sick, oh, sick. Oh, oh, oh. Good DI off the fair. Doesn't get the can combo. Still, like, racked up a lot of damage. I might get, might get the edge guard here. Right. 
So right now I kind of like uh, Blue Team's position. They just seem to be controlling the stage well. Um, and as I say that, you know, they're kind of pushed out, but following up on things, just playing smart. Stage frozen. Really liking how this Martha is, uh, as I say that, he just goes off stage. Really liking how this Martha is pretty much, you know, keeping red team out with the uh, with down tilt spares. Yeah, like if you're smart about Martha and you like know how to uh, kind of create a wall, then again, it's going to be like a really good character in teams because he covers so much space, but kind of like that double-edged sword. <laughs> double-edged sword. Haha. <laughs> yeah, so... But, uh. Oh, missed the up air there. Good edge guard. Good read, really. Choosing not to give up the ledge. Oh, but then, yeah, that was. Kind of a, again, questionable decision to give up the ledge there. Yeah, nice job. Alright, so things are kind of evening up right now. Um, all right, see you later. Okay, so red team just seems to be playing pretty patiently. Like, they have the lead. Ooh, kind of a bad fare there, but I think Sauce will get back. Yeah, they're really in a good position. Great sign to find Spike. Oh. Yeah, you can tell Sauce did not want to have that happen. But uh, again, I still like their position. Like, and you can see both of them got the sort of edge guards going on. They're just like controlling the stage. Just like quite frankly, like look like the better team. So yeah, there you go. All right, and that's it. I think yeah, this is best of five though. So. Um, They've done FD, they've done uh, Battlefield. I could see them going back to FD. Maybe, again, like something like Yoshi's might be worth trying out because of how like, you know, volatile that can be in doubles and how kind of crazy it can be. Um, if they think they want to get a lot of kills early and quick, that might be worth it. But uh, just on the looks of their faces, it seems like they're having a hard time figuring out exactly how they want to follow up on this. Interesting switch to Falco. Again, like, not really sure what they feel like Falco will uh, be solving in terms of like, what they think is missing from their team, but I guess we'll see how it plays out here. Maybe they just feel like they can get harder punishes with Falco, but I don't know. Or maybe it's just that uh, he's more confident with that character. It does seem to be working out for them so far. They're, they're still uh, playing well. Oh man. Just an early get up on Falco to give Sheik back the ledge. But uh, Sasha's decision to wait there actually gave uh, his teammate the time to get back, so good job. That kind of like sort of in the, the singles habits that you have actually make the totally lose my train of thought. End up helping out people like this in teams. Like, they probably shouldn't have waited that long. Nice. That's a dead fox.
Two, 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 two